Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Richland's Ohio Multiplayer. I am joined with my good friend Blake. Hey, how's it going? And this episode, we have a surprise for you. We bought a Case 620 Steiger. It's a, it's, it's amazingly good. It's something. It's it's got uh, changing monitors here. Let me turn it on. Oh my so we, god! I hear it from out here. We it can open the so door nice. here and close it. We can change the monitor somehow. I think it's there left, and then yep. up. Yep. It has to be open then. We can open the hood and look out in the hood. See all the fans and belts moving. And then there's a couple other buttons that we don't know what they do yet. Oh, well, we can move the it's steering, nice. the the chair. We can move the chair, yep. which is nice. We can move the steering wheel up and down, which is cool. How do I bring the hood back in? Hood? Hood? Whatever. I give up. Anyway, so yeah, that's uh, that. We today we are going to seed some grass in uh, field 15 and 17 in the bottom right. It's going to be one giant grass field. Blake is moving some tractors around. There's my truck. Yeah, it's over at the the new farm 25. I, d I was too lazy to drive it back over. Very good. Oh, I missed the spot. God damn it. Uh oh. I uh, I was going to plow all the fields together. Yeah. I missed the spot. But oh well. Oh no. It's okay. Oh, this is a tight corner. No biggie. Ooh, that looks like a tight corner. Oh, this is a really tight corner. Now I'm stuck. Right. I'll get it, though. We're gonna do a little bit of this. And a little bit of that. And, and some of this, of this. And some of that. And a little bit of that. And, and voila. some of this. What is happening here? Here we go. Come on. Here we go. Come on, let's move. Let's go. Come on. Thank you. There we go. I got it unstuck. Voila. Voila. Did work his magic. I did work my magic. Sounds like you. Yep, sure does. Okay, explain to me how. What's up? Okay, never mind. What's up? What's explain wrong? to me how a bush isn't collidable, and a tree, some trees in this map aren't collidable, but the smallest trees at this farm are collidable. That's right. That's how that works. That makes no sense. That makes perfect sense. You could go sense. through a bush that's non collidable. You could go through a big tree that's non collidable, but the smallest tree is collidable. That's yeah, right. That doesn't make sense. That's how map makers get you. I see that. Just like when you ran over that wheelbarrow. That was stupid. That thing should not have been collidable. You shouldn't have even been over there. That thing should have not been collidable. If you guys haven't watched Riverside Farms multiplayer with Blake and I, you should definitely go check yeah. that out. We have a lot of fun. It'd be well appreciated. It would be very well appreciated. So Blake is moving the small case tractor 
to where? The cow farm? Cow farm. The cow farm. And it's going to be on the TMR mixer permanently. Yep. And then we will use the 4440 as the uh, the grass equipment tractor. Well, this thing must be heavy. The case? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's got like a 2,000 weight on it. Well, not Something even like that. that. I, I pulled up not even all the way to the front, and this thing popped a wheelie. Really? Well, don't pull it up yeah. to the front. You put it on the rear axles. Yeah, I did. That's good. I think. You worst think. comes to worst, you just back it up a little. There we go. Gotta strap it down. And boom, we're off. Fantastic. Oh yeah, this thing's definitely heavy. So we'll spin back around here and go uh, around this existing grass field. around How's it going over there? Really good. Just came up to the four way or to the two way slab. It's fantastic. I was gonna say that's not a two way over there. Or that's not a four way. Yeah. Um, as you can see we have uh seven hundred thousand dollars. We have sold most of our products and crops. Uh we sold all the oats, the sorghum, the cool. sunflowers, and then corn. we sold all of the, yeah, we sold the corn, and then we also sold the corn and soybean oil, so that got us quite a lot. I swear this thing moved. I had it strapped, I had it straight and everything, and now it just keeps moving on. Yeah, sometimes they move by themselves. It's weird. Even th even though they're strapped, though? Even though they're strapped, yeah. Oh, the, yeah, that's uh, really weird. The, ex the, the tree harvester on Silver Run did it. That's, oh yeah, I remember that. That's really weird, though. Like, it was, I put it on there straight and it had tilted itself. <laughs> We've almost made it around the headland. This is going to be one giant grass field and it's going to take forever. But I'm okay with that. Does that mean we sell the other grass field? What other grass field? The small one down there? 
No, I'm combining them all into one giant grass field. Oh, yeah, I forgot that's connected to that, huh? And it's connected to it. Yep, I forgot about that. So we might need a bigger windrow. Okay. Because don't we have the merger at the moment? Um, I think... Yep. Yeah, merge so max. we're going to need a bigger merger. Or a bigger windrow. Alright. I saw that one. You go pick it up in your case. Mm. How about that? Yeah, you're funny. I think not coming out of the shed. That's a beauty. Not that case. The small case. <laughs> I don't know how much horsepower it would take. You can do a 9.7 meter, a 14.7, 15. Uh, I vote or the biggest. 12.5. 15. Sure, that sounds good. It's a class bone. We don't want that. No, no, no. It's a windrow. Yeah, we'll it's one. gonna not. It's not gonna be John Deere. We'll go with this one. We'll go to the 14.7 meter. Sure, that sounds good. 115 horsepower though. <laughs> yeah, that's plenty. Yeah, I don't know if I can pull it though. Yeah, you should be able oh, to. Oh yeah, yeah, I can. Because that thing, thing got a small back. I think two hundred and fifteen horsepower being there. Yeah. This is a long, boring task. I bet. Oh, I about ran over the real barrel again. Oh my god. Well, I'm also on a gooseneck, so... That that makes sense, I guess. That makes more sense than me with the TMR mixer. That is true. Because a gooseneck, you gotta turn really wide. That's true. Our 8920 case has the most horsepower besides the 6R. It has more horsepower? No, it's second. The case has 300, or the 6R has 300, and the case has 214. The John Deere has how much? 300. The 6R. 300. Alright. I thought you said 600 there. I'm like, wait a minute. No, 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 no. 300. 300. Sweet. You know how big this this windrow is gonna look on this case? Pretty big. Things gonna look massive. I mean, this case is also pretty small. Yeah, it is. This might be the one time we'll use duels on this tractor. You don't use duels in grass fields. Oh, well, you never know. It's FS, not... It's, okay. Yes, I know it's FS. It's not like it's real life. That is true. And, plus, if we put duels on that, I don't think it'll fit into half of the sheds that we have. Oh, well, the duels aren't that big. They're pretty big. No, they're not like a... They're not like a John Deere duel. Right, I know that, but, like, still. They're still pretty big. That's true. Yeah, this thing looks massive compared to this compared to this tractor. Yeah. On my way with the wind row. Fantastic. But are you almost done with that field already? I'm not even close. Uh, I didn't know if since that thing has a long width, if you would. It'll still take a while. Almost done. Well. 
I've gone up and down once, and then the headlands. Nice. Oh, it's not that big compared to the bread of the tractor. I mean, yeah, it's big, but it's not like humongous. Right, right, as it should be. Because you're about halfway done. I am not. Halfway done with this one field, maybe. Oh. I've got the other one to do still. Oh, Lord, I forgot about that. Oh, I missed the spot. Oh. Yeah, that's not going to work out. It's not going to work out for me at all. We'll just uh, spin around here. There we go. That's more like it. I missed another spot. Oh my god. I, I backed into the shed without hitting anything. I'm shocked. No, you should be impressed. You should be no, proud I'm of me. No, I'm shocked. That's shocked. I am proud of you, no, 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 no. but that's shocking. Yeah. Because you've always hit at least something. Yep. I'm going to regret saying that later, too. Yeah, yeah, you are. Okay, we need to get the cows going. Sorry guys, my controller just uh, took me there for a little ride there. But we're all good. What happened? My controller just took me on a little ride, but we're all good. <laughs> How'd that work out for you? Uh, pretty good, you know, it... Uh, did the camera <laughs> angle and the moving at the same time. Perfect. So That's we'd love to like see to it. Here. I'm going to get some uh, TMR mid. Yeah, that's good. Are you feeding your cows? Our cows? Yeah. Yeah, our cows, yes. Almost done with this field here. We'll try to overlap a little bit so we stop missing pieces. shop today? No. Nope.
If we're gonna put a lot of this grass into that silage pit, we're gonna have to empty those bales out of there. Mm-hmm. Unless we place another silage pit or something. Well, we can't, because we don't own that, that farm. Why can't we wrap it? That's gonna be a lot of bales, and we're gonna hit the bale capacity at some point. That's true. So we've got this last piece to do on this field, and then we've got this uh, field 17 over here to my right to do still. This won't take too long to do. Wait, your your mixture is one hay. One hay, one, one silage. silage right? That only gets me to fifty percent. Yeah, well if you do two silage and two hay, then you get two hundred liters of hay left over. Okay, that's true. That's a good point. I think we'll uh, go over here on this side and start on this side of the field. just for a little bit something different. Are you ready for the new year, Blake? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Neither am I. Mm-mm. Why aren't you ready for it? What's wrong? Not ready to go back to school. Yeah? When do you start up school? Uh, the second. The second. Really? That early? Yeah. Is that a Monday? Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday, yeah. Yikes. Mm hmm. That is really, really early. Yeah. Wow, this is one boring job. If uh, if you guys have sticked with this episode for this long, I really appreciate it. I know it's a very boring episode. The next one will be a lot more exciting. Hopefully it will be. So we'll get this last little strip done here. We're almost done with this field.
almost done. We've got uh, maybe up and then down and then up again. And I think we'll be done here. There we go, that's that piece done. We'll spin around and uh, go back up this way. Get it lined up. We'll straighten this piece out here and then we'll spin around and go back up to the top just so we can get it all in one pass. go. Uh, this little grass strip here is the piece that I forgot to plow over, but it'll be fine. We can still get some grass off of it. go. Got this last strip to do and then we're done. Other than the little pieces that I missed. But anyways, guys, that will do it for today. We will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.